Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Clarence again, and today's repair video is fixing the cracked windshield. Um, tell you a couple of quick things. I'm gonna keep it short. One of the things is you won't have to fix a cracked windshield if you avoid getting your windshield cracked. And the best way to avoid it is back off those 18 wheels of those big trucks on the road. They got grooves in the, between the tires, that's, the treads that's longer than the car wider than the car and it'll, it'll sling a rock out at you. So stay off those trucks, two, 300 feet back off of them. And if you behind pickup trucks with those big wide tires, get some distance between them and that way you will not catch a rock. Um, the other thing is, um, there's a couple of things that on the instructions they, they said do it and I'm not gonna do them, I'm gonna do it totally different because there's a better way to do it. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and show you the ingredients that comes in the kit. It's a, this is the kit right here. It's called, um, about a company called Permatex and it's windshield um, repair kit. Um, I got it off Amazon. It was $12.95. I bought two of them. You can get them from AutoZone or any other parts store, but they're gonna cost you about 20 bucks, anywhere from 18 to 20 bucks. Amazon, $12.95. I just ordered it, it came in yesterday, okay? Good thing to have. Um, next, we're gonna show you the. Ooh, boy, I'm sweating. We're gonna show you the actual uh, repair kit. Okay, here's the repair kit. You get an alcohol wipe. You get the uh, adhesive, double-sided adhesive circle that screws that takes that uh, sticks to your windshield. Make sure this tab is always facing in the twelve o'clock position or up. Then you get the base where the um, the resin is poured into. I call it a base, but I'm gonna show you something different when we do the uh, resin in the base. Next, you get a razor blade. Well, I'll show you later what the razor blade is used for. You get a um, little clip, a little um, tack here to dig. If it's the windshield is cracked, you'll rake this across it to get any loose glass out. Then you get the resin which is no more than the special glue you use. And you get a syringe. And I'll show you how to use the syringe. It comes with a locking clip on it, and I'm gonna show you exactly what this locking clip is used for. Pretty simple. This is the kit right here, okay? Now, next we're gonna move over to the car, and we're gonna get busy. Okay, we're at the car. The crack is really hard to see. It's right here. I'm touching it right now, but I'm gonna clean it up in a second with alcohol. Uh, it's right here, okay? I'm gonna clean it up with alcohol, with this wipe, alcohol wipe. Gonna clean all around it. Then I'm gonna take this adhesive double-sided stick. And the way you put it on is, you put the, tap, the, tip, the tab in the, the, tab in the 12 o'clock position, and you put the crack dead center right there see where i got that crack at and um i'll show you the other piece in just a second so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pause this put this camera on a tripod lens to hold it and i will be right back okay i am back um i'm gonna take the alcohol wipe which is right here we're gonna go to where the crack is at which is right here and i see that fingerprints all over it and that's the crack right there. Clean it all around it. Okay, take this off of it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it air dry. You can see how quick it's drying. And while it's doing that, I'm gonna go get this needle or this tack they say use. See how quick it's drying? Now next, you see this, um, I don't know, thumbtack, I guess you call it. Anyway, you find the crack. You don't want to dig too much into it, but what you want to do is you want to clean it. You want to clean it out just a little bit, okay? So I go to it, and I'm just going to lightly rub over it a little bit, just in case any loose glass is in there. And that's done. Then I'm going to follow up because I just rubbed over it. I'm going to lightly rub it with this again to, to grab any loose glass. And I'm done with it. 
it'll dry pretty quick. Okay. I'm blowing it even, I'm blowing it to make it dry even quicker. Okay. It's completely, it's completely dry. Okay, uh, right there. So next, I'm gonna take the adhesive tip right here. If I can get this off, try not to touch it, okay? Like I just did. God bless America. And I'm touching it because I'm trying to film and do it for the same thing. Okay. We're gonna push it up there. And we're gonna take this adhesive and we're gonna put it, the tip, in the 12 o'clock position. Directly over the hole, right? Directly over the crack. But you see the crack is in the center of it. Make sure you got it down tight. Okay. So far, so good. Now, the base is going to go over it. You line the base up just like so, but you got to take the adhesive off first. And the, the resin is going to go in this hole right here. But guess what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you a better way to do it. Hold on. So the last time I, the last time I did this, I actually pulled that adhesive off and I put this on and then I poured the, the glue down in that little hole. But I'm going to do it different this time. This time, I'm gonna go ahead and take the the sticky adhesive uh, cover off here. Okay, take that off. So now everything is clean. There's the crack. But the secret to mine is this time I'm gonna put it. Watch this. Put me a little bit on there before, just a little bit. So now I know that I got glue on there. Now. I take this, line it up. Make sure you got it lined up. Okay. And put it on. Put pressure on, mild pressure on it. Wiggle it around to make sure it's stuck in place. Okay. Seem to be stuck. And now you put a um, couple of three or four drops in here. Squeeze it a little bit. Make sure you don't use it all because you got to save a little bit. I'm going to show you why in a minute. So I'm, I got one big, uh, one big thing in there. Okay. Didn't use it all, but it's in there. Next. Let me, where's my syringe at? This is extremely, extremely easy. Next, you're going to take the syringe. Leave the plunger down at the bottom because you got to do a two part to it. Insert this into the hole. Okay, and it's in there and it's secure. Now, you're gonna, I'm gonna put the camera down for a second, but you're gonna hold the syringe. Uh, okay, now, you're gonna hold the syringe with one hand and you're gonna pull it up on this plunger with the other hand. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, and It should lock in place. Okay, and a little trouble here. Pull that plunger up and twist this syringe to lock it in place, okay? Pull it up to the second. It's got two slits in it. Pull it up to the sec to the all the way to the first one, right? Not the first uh, notch. There's a notch right here, and there's a notch here. Pull it all the way up to the second notch. Now that first notch is going to have a. Uh, it's for another reason. So now you leave this. You got to let it set for ten minutes. So I got a timer on. Ten minutes from now, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the next step. So I'm going to pause this for the 10 minutes. Okay, I'm still waiting. I got about five more minutes left. But don't forget, this is the kit. This is the best one that I've seen that you could, that I can buy. 
that I've used. I used two or three different other ones, but this one works the best. Okay. And it's still there. See the slots in the in the syringe? There's one here and there's one here. You always you, the first step you pull it the syringe all the way up. All the way out of here, all the way up, and it locks into the bottom one. And what it's doing is actually uh, vacuuming and pulling all the air out so that the glue, when I get ready to press the glue in, there won't be no air, there won't be no air in there. So I got it pulled all the way up and it's set. And it's gonna set up for 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, just checking it again to make sure everything is still secure. Everything is still secure and it's still uh, sucking the air out of it or pulling the air out of the crack itself is what's going on. And everything is looks okay. I'll leave it alone. And don't forget, this is what I'm using. It's a one step, one process uh, setup here. And that's pretty much it. Mm, the adhesive is on. The resin is there. Okay. Okay, now the 10 minutes is up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold it bottom of the syringe with one hand. Um, correction, I'm going to hold it with one hand and I'm going to take two fingers and place on the base and I'm going to hold the base and then I'm going to separate. Leave this locked in place because once you uh, do the next step, which is coming up right now, it's important that it stays right where it's at. So now I'm going to turn this uh, syringe so that it releases. And so right now it's free spinning. So I turn it now, but it's still in the up position. I'm going to put it back on the base. Put it back on the base in the up position. Make sure it's snug down. Now, you're going to force the air pressure down. And when we do it this time, what it's doing is actually um, putting pressure and forcing the glue or the resin into the crack. So let's see if we can do this. Down. All the way down. Okay. So all I did then, I pushed down on it. Now it's forcing the air or the resin into the glass. Right now, all this stuff is being forced into that crack. And you'll see shortly. <clears throat> this wait is supposed to be 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes. And don't forget what I'm using. So let's block here. Okay, I'm back. 20 minutes is up. What we're going to do next is we're going to remove the syringe. I'm going to hold it with a couple of fingers, twist it a little bit, take it off, okay? I'm done with it, so I can put, I'm going to put it aside. Then next, you're going to take the razor. This is what I was going to say. I was going to tell you about the razor blade a little bit later. And this is the razor blade. We're going to take the razor blade and we're, we're going to remove the pedestal. This thing is called a pedestal. Um, so we're going to remove the pedestal. Take the razor blade and just slightly go around it. All the way around. And it's going to break loose. While I'm moving the pedestal, I'm also taking the adhesive up, leaving it stuck to the pedestal. Okay. Underneath of it. Okay. Didn't work out the way I planned it, but it did come off. Evidently, the adhesive stayed. So look, and you're still gonna get it off. Though, watch this. Still gonna take it off. It's coming off. I want you to see as much of it as I can. Okay. 
Then you're gonna take the razor blade and the stuff that was left, you're just gonna get it off. So you yeah, see, it comes right off. Get it again. Everything is off, okay? Okay, so far everything is off. Now, I'm gonna take this, the same wipe, and I'm gonna wipe over the entire area again. Get all the adhesive off of it. Okay, flip this over. Wow, it looked like the crack disappeared. It actually filled it, the crack, and that's what it's supposed to do. Now, we're gonna locate the crack with, remember I told you to save some. So we're gonna take what was saved and we're gonna locate the, the crack and we're gonna put this on it, okay? Man, where is the crack? I can't even see the crack now. This looks like it right here. So we're gonna rub some of this on the crack. That crack, I think that's the crack, yeah. Rub it on the crack like that. Okay, leave that, don't touch it. Here's a sheet, uh, sheet of film. I don't know if you can see it. Now, sheet of film. And what you're going to do is you're going to go directly to where the crack was at, and you're going to put this on top of that resin. And you're going to hold it right there in place. Don't do anything to it. Just put it over the crack and leave it, okay? But now, take the alcohol wipe, the resin that's running down your window. Go ahead and get that up. All the resin that's running down the window with this white. Okay. And you leave that on for um, about five minutes. Okay. You're still working with it, so don't. So now remember that film that we put on it? It's right here. You're gonna take the razor blade and you're gonna slide over it to make sure that there's no air bubbles underneath of it. Clear all the air bubbles out. Best way to do it would be to do it this way. Okay, and you leave it. And it's right down the short tail, a little bit closer here on this side. Okay, like I was saying, this is the film that you put over it right here. This film, okay? Um, and you leave it there, and that's going to stay on for 15 minutes. You got to leave this on for 15 minutes, and you got to pull your vehicle out in the sunlight so the sun will bake that in. So I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to pull the car outside, okay? Okay, don't y'all trip. Everybody has an I love me wall, okay? Everybody has one. Every soldier has an I love me wall. I got more certificates and items in the house, but I don't put them up no more. I've been retired for a minute. So that's my I love me wall. Okay. Now we're gonna walk outside and I'm gonna show you what I did to the car. Falling behind them big tr trucks. We'll get your windshield cracked. Okay, this is the, I don't know if you can see it with the sunlight. That is the clear glass cup case that's over it. It's gonna set for about 15 minutes and we're gonna take it off. We're gonna take the razor blade. We're gonna clean everything up. We're gonna wipe it down and you won't be able to see that same crack. We'll get back at you. Okay, this is the film right here. It's a square right here, okay? 
the crack is dead center. Um, you leave this on in the sunlight under the UV rays for 15 minutes on sunny days. On cloudy days, you will leave it for about an hour out in the sunlight. Okay. Okay, a little bit of good to know information. Um, those kits, you can only use it one time. It's for one time use, one crack. You got two cracks, you got to buy two of them. And then you dispose of everything else. Don't forget, this is the one I use. It's the most simplest one to use. And if you fall, if you follow by the wayside, here are the instructions. And it gives you step by step, step by step, step by step procedures. It's in English and it's in Spanish, Spanish and English. Okay. And you just follow step by step all the way down through it. Okay. All 10 steps. It's 10 steps and it's simple. Okay, checking it out here. It looks to be drying just fine. About another four minutes left on it. Also, the season is changing. The crack is there. You can barely, you can barely see that crack. You can barely see it. It's right there. But I'm gonna take this film up in a minute. Another three or four minutes. Um, season's changing. Fix those small cracks now before the cold weather hit it. It may or may not make it run across your windshield, and it may smile well. But fix it while it's nice outside, and you should be good. Okay, back for the final finishing. The uh, 20 minutes of sitting outside in the sun is done. Here's the script right here. I'm going to take the razor blade, take it off, just like that. And it comes off, okay? Now, I got to get that adhesive off, and all you do is take that razor blade. You're going to see stuff coming up, but don't worry about it. It's adhesive and glue. It's not windshield glass. Let's tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to show you. Okay, this is what's left of it. You take the razor blade, and this is all dried adhesive, and you're just going to take it off. That sun really cook this thing. And there it is right there. Okay. Okay, what I did, I went in the house, got a paper towel, and I got some regular house rub and alcohol, and I'm gonna clean up the working area, okay? Alcohol dries really quick and it don't damage it because all this stuff is cooked in. Now, everything is good. Flip it over, finish them up. Now I'm gonna show you where that crack was there. You tell me if you can still see that crack. Okay, I'm back. That crack was right there. Do you see a crack? You're not, because when it fills in, it also replaces the glass. So the crack was here, it's gone. You can't see it. Okay, job complete. Okay, I got inside of the car because I wanted to show you how that crack, you could barely see remnants of it, but it's right there on the windshield, right where my finger is at. You can barely see it, it's right there. But looking at it with the eye, you didn't know what was there. That crack is gone. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. It's hot in this garage. I'm sweating. Um, that's how you fix your a crack in your window. The one that's coming in your windshield. The one that's coming, you may want to get it done. Um, before it's, it gets cold, it may run. You'll see that it fixed it, and not only fixed it, it sealed it, and it hid it to where you can't even see it at all. So uh, I'm Clarence. Video went a little bit long. Peace. Hit the like and the subscribe button, and that way uh, when new stuff come out, you'll be one of the first to get it, okay? Other than that, I can't think of anything. Uh, yeah, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. It don't bother me one way. I don't take offense to it if it's 
a thumbs down. Just uh, let me know what you think. I'm Clarence. Peace. Check my channel out. It's called the Fix It Yourself channel by Clarence. Google it. It'll come up. We gone.